one of the things he really wants to do is to really help improve retention and also uh, help students have a better, a better life on campus. So w one of the things that he talked about to me about early on was should we think about a residential uh, requirement. According to Peter's research, students living on campus performed higher academically, mostly because they are more focused on their studies. If you're commuting, you may be living at home with a high school, you know, brother or sister who's, they're focused on high school stuff and your parents are focused on their stuff and so it's much more difficult for you to really be able to hone in. The new living requirements will only apply to incoming undergraduate students, so current students will not be affected by the new res life policy. The incoming class for the fall of, of 18 will be expected to follow this policy, but the rising sophomores won't. Incoming students are exempted from the new policy if they are studying abroad for the semester, if they are married, if they commute and live with a parent within 30 miles of the university, if they are 23 years or older, or have received an exemption from the director of ResLife. I'm hopeful this really helps us because really our, our main goal is to retain more students, have more students be successful. That's, our, that's what we're really all, all focused on.